Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Now this video is a little bit different from before. I'm basically going to be talking over the top of a route I've drawn in Google Earth. I did some riding with some friends a few weeks ago. It's a pretty easy track and I didn't think it was worthy of doing anything further but decided to change my mind. Okay, let's get started. The highlight for me for this route is the single track section I'm about to show you now. One. Some of you guys out there might have some family or some friends that you want to take to Braemar, or just come to Braemar, and you want to do a fairly easy route. Now, this route is about 24 kilometers long. It is mostly double track with a few odd bits of single track, but nothing that a, a gravel bike couldn't handle. It handled it very, very easily. There's some very beautiful scenery along the way. There's no big hills, there's no big descents. They say it's all mostly gravel. There's one little excursion off to the side called the Devil's Bowl, and that goes up some fairly easy single track round to a river. And there you'll see where stones have worn away the riverbed and this formed holes in the rock strata, and then the water is cut underneath. And it's pretty impressive. So I do recommend that little excursion. Now, I take about three or four hours depending on your ability and it just circuits around Braemar along the River D basin. Now there is a section of A93 in there. You do have to be a little bit careful there but point that out to you. Let's say the rest of it is all double track. Now we started this from the campsite and so you'll see in the video a start stop point. There's nothing to say you can't start anywhere else depending where you park the car or ride to. So that's just my recommendation. You don't necessarily have to stick to that. Easily stuff up Here you see an overview of the whole 24 kilometer route with Braemar in the center. Just put in a few hills to give you some idea of location when you're moving around the route. Let's zoom in to the center of Braemar. And there you see the center. And to the north or to the south, really, there is the start finish and the campsite we started. So we move up and over a small pass on to the A93. This is the A93 section I was telling you about. It's not too long, but you can easily come off it once you get over the bridge and then you come on to Invercold House. And this is where we move along the side of the river, D, hugging the hillside, all the way up to the little excursion. Now here is the Devil's Bowl and I've marked it with single track. It's only a few kilometers, a little bit of fun. And we move away from here, again, moving along the, the river basin to effectively Mars Lodge. And here, just before Mars Lodge, we cross over the river bridge, proceed up the, the road, a very quiet road, to join the start of the ascent, a very gentle ascent through the forest on double track. Here we go out onto Heath, this is the single track and this is the filmed section and it finishes at the bottom of Marvin Hill. Come off the side of the hill, across the river and you go to the finish. 
Now, just for a highlight, just in case you are a mountain biker and really want to see what Braemar has to offer, here, marked in purple, is the Marvin Hill Descent. Highly recommended. I have this in another video. So have a look on my channel. I also leave a link in the description below. But if you want to thrill, this will give you the deal. And that's it. 24 kilometer, quick and easy route around Braemar. Okay, so I hope you liked that video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos in my series or equipment review, filming techniques, then please do hit that subscribe button. Be sure to hit that notification button too, and I'll catch up with you guys later. Keep well, keep safe.